Um Aisha says, how should a woman's outer garment be? Meaning how loose in inches is wearing shalwar kameez enough because it is very colorful and attractive with patterns and designs and women in the subcontinent wear this and the dupta or the scarf of this same sharwal kameez which is put on in a way that sometimes shows part of their hair. Now the issue is that a lot of the people, and I've, say, I've said this before so many times, a lot of us tend to follow the traditions, the customs, and would want to rearrange things so that it would fit Islam. And this is not the right approach. Islam is our prime objective and it should fit whatever it wants to fit. And whatever goes or grows out of the borders of Islam has to be eliminated, not the other way around. Therefore, when we come to women's wear, when we come to women's attire, what is appropriate and what is inappropriate, this is not something that is judged by logic or by taste or by what's common. It is judged by the verses of the Quran, the hadith of the Prophet والسلام, with the understanding of the three favorite generations whom the Prophet said والسلام, Khairul Qurun, the best of generations is my generation that is his era of the companions, then those who follow them, the tabi'een, and those who follow them, the tabi'i tabi'een. These are the best of all generations. Now, their understanding is the best understanding. And when we look into the books of fiqh to try to find out what is permissible and what is not, we will not find the Prophet ﷺ coming and telling us a woman should wear this and this and must avoid this and this because this is not practical. You remember the hadith of Ihram for men? A man came to the Prophet ﷺ and said, O Prophet of Allah, what should a muhrim, the one who's intending to do Umrah or Hajj, what should a muhrim wear? Now the question is so generic in the sense that he says, he might say, he can wear this and this and this, and, and it goes on. It's like someone asking you, what can a Muslim eat? So you start just listing the fruits, and it takes you like an hour. Vegetables, types of meat, the types of nuts, the types of this and that, it is endless. Instead, you go and answer in the restricted things that he's not allowed to do, and that is very little. So you say, you cannot eat pork, you cannot eat meat that was not slaughtered appropriately in the Islamic way, and you cannot eat any predator like wolves, uh, lions, uh, tigers, etc. That's it. And the rest is halal, un unless it falls under this haram category. The same methodology was taught to us by the Prophet ﷺ when he answered the man about what a muhrim should wear. He did not list the things he should wear. Rather, he told him about the things he should not wear. So he said that a muhrim must not wear al-burnos, al-baranes. He should not wear al-umama, the turban. The burnos is a, a, a cloak that has a hoodie. Uh, on it, he should not wear the sarawil, which is the pants, he should not wear a kameez, which is a shirt, a t-shirt, whatever, and he should not wear shoes. That's it. End of story. So now, 
If we look at the women's attire, we, after studying the evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah, find out that Islam tells us that a woman can wear anything she wants when she's outside of her home and non mahram men are looking at her, providing that one, she wears clothes that cover her body properly in the sense that they are not tight to show her figures, her, body her bone structure, her curves, and it is not see-through so that we can tell what she's wearing underneath. And it should not be imitating the disbelievers. So if a nation of the disbelievers are known to wear such a dress or an outer garment, Muslims should not wear that. Thirdly, it must not be attractive in it by itself. So it shouldn't be eye-catching because this defies the purpose of the hijab. Why are you wearing the hijab? Because Allah ordered us to do so. Secondly, so that we do not draw attention and the wrongdoers would not abuse us or flirt with us or say inappropriate things to us. So if you wear something that is attractive, it's like calling the hounds to attack. If we go back to Um Aisha's question, the Shirwal Kamiz, this is worn in the subcontinent. So the Kamiz is the Arabic word of Kamis, and Kamis means a shirt. So any upper garment that you insert your hands in the sleeves, this is called kameez. So what I'm wearing at the moment, this is considered to be a kameez, but it is long that goes down to cover my whole body. It's a long kameez. What the women are wearing in the subcontinent is revealing. Their kameez, the shirt, is exposing their bodies and it is tight at the waist. So you can tell the woman's curves by looking at that, and this defies the hijab. If you add to it colorful uh, um, printing on it and being attractive, this is another haram issue. Therefore, this is inappropriate. They must wear an outer garment that is thick and not see-through that can cover the whole body and what's worn underneath. 